All right, 522, welcome back here. It takes a little more than an hour to get there from Indianapolis down the winding country roads off the beaten path in Brown County. But once you get there, you'll find Story, Indiana. And Rachel, this town has a total population of three humans and four dogs, our type of place. I like that ratio. All right, so this tiny ghost town has made quite a name for itself, and it's not just because of its scenic beauty or delicious food, but because of decades of local legend claiming one guest never checked out of this beloved bed and breakfast. We're getting the story on Story Inn on this trip in your neighborhood. Story was founded back in 1851. Dr. George Story was awarded a land grant from the president and moved here back in that time to found the town. The heart of Story, Indiana is the Story Inn, the state's oldest country inn. It's also a restaurant, grill, wedding and festival venue brimming with history. Downstairs, you'll find the tavern that once housed an illegal still during the Prohibition. These days, it offers a speakeasy vibe with plenty of local libations. All of our tap uh, lists are always local, Indi either Indiana, Ohio, or Kentucky. Um, same with our wine list, we have over 200 wines in our wine cellar. Upstairs, the old general store was transformed into a restaurant where guests enjoy sustainable and locally sourced cuisine. We're one of the only uh, places in Brown County that grows our food that we prepare in our restaurant. Awesome. There's not a lot of places that are able to do that. They offer a weekly three to five course prefix menu created by chef and Brown County native, Dan Thomas. During our visit, we went behind the scenes as he made fresh oysters with Vichy Soiz, caviar and fennel, and handmade lobster mousse ravioli with squid ink striped pasta. Tuck in for the night in one of their 14 accommodations, none of which get more attention than the notorious Blue Lady Room upstairs, where some believe you can summon the ghost of Dr. George Story's wife by turning on the blue light. Over the years, guests have documented their experiences in the guest book. And we've changed out the guest book several times and it's still the same story coming to us over and over and over. Um, people will um, have the light smell of cherry tobacco. Um, little things have happened in the rooms, maybe the lights flicker or they felt someone in the room, a presence. While in Brown County, check out these other destinations located off the beaten path. Salt Creek Winery, Explore Brown County, the Farmhouse Cafe and Tea Room, and the TC Steel State Historic Site. Spooky. All right, Story Inn is also a very popular destination for weddings, and they've actually already booked up almost every weekend for 2021. And going forward, they have some fun Christmas-themed events planned as well. So if you want more info on Story Inn, head over to this story on our website right now, cbs4indy.com. Just look under the CBS4 This Morning tab. Ange? All right.